So quite a few people have been asking us to open the quadcopter back up and show the mod that we did to be able to get the uh, number of satellites when the camera is turned on on some of the um, older um, Phantom 2s. And so here's what we originally started with was this mod up here um, that had been shown on, uh, on YouTube. Um, we ended up grounding everything together and soldering a ground wire, as you can see here, to each of the sections um, as we had to kind of cut them apart, but that gives um, full ground continuity. That helped a little bit, um, but not near as what this latest mod has done. Um, the latest mod, we ended up taking that same uh, copper foil and Kapton tape and this is the lead up to the board, the uh, multi-cable. That goes and connects from here to here. So between these two points and just wrapped it up really well. And then we took this cable that goes down and off to the, and as you can see down in there, you can see where that goes is down into the front where the, um, it passes through and attaches into the, um, the camera itself. And as you can kind of see, that got fully um, encapsulated. And then there was another wire that had come up on this side and plugs into the, um, the side of this unit here, which is the, um, I guess that's the radio transmitter or receiver. So we've got one um, that is here that connects through and plugs in to the very side. Um, let me get the camera in here through this. Um, looks like ferrite bead. And then the other one comes up and comes off and just is just a couple of wires that plugs in just right here um, on the, uh, the board itself. But once all of that was done and we had connected through, um, and as you can see right there, there's where we stopped the, um, the foil and uh, the insulation right before it goes into the, uh, the camera itself. But with this modification, and it took us a little bit of time to get all of this out um, so we could end up, um, especially for all of this that's underneath and comes up down to the camera. Um, that was a little bit um, tricky to pull all that out, but you know, give yourself a couple hours to do it. This one went fairly well. Just make sure that you get everything wrapped tight uh, and then cover it in the, um, the Kapton tape. And then our ground wire that we grounded everything with just comes into a negative terminal here um, on this um, motor control board. And um, that's what grounds all of this um, out here to this uh, shielding for the GPS. But once this modification was completed, we instantly got 10 satellites with the camera off. Uh, we live in the Northern California area. And when the camera went on, uh, we dropped down to, the least we've seen is seven. Um, but once we pop up in the air about a 25, 30 feet, um, we get eight, between eight and 10 um, GPS satellites locked on and uh, made an absolute world of um, difference in uh, the stability and the, uh, the flying of the, um, the copter itself. And we have flown this now quite a few times and have not had any um, GPS dropout from anything. So you can kind of see with the copper foil um, of how it you know, comes in there and lays over and then the Kapton tape to insulate it all. Um, we just made sure that we just cut strips and folded it around the copper um, on all pieces. A little bit tough getting it back in um, because the cables are now um, not quite rigid, but um, they're much stiffer than they were. But everything lays down um, really fairly easily and um, worked out you know, really, really well for us. And then our GPS um, unit plugs in right here on top and uh, comes out fairly easily. But um, that is the, um, the mod that we have done. Um, unfortunately, with the, uh, the way the screws go in and taking it in and apart so many times, we lost a couple of the, um, 
the plastic, um, set in plastic lock nuts, which we're going to have to epoxy those back in. But um, everything that, you know, everybody's been sharing so far on, um, on YouTube about this, um, it works okay. I guess it depends on what version that you have of these. I think this is an earlier version of the, the Vision 2 Plus. Um, but once this was done um, with that mod on everything and getting this all wrapped up with the, uh, the copper um, and the Kapton tape, um, it just flies wonderfully now and we don't lose any GPS lock on anything whatsoever. So anyway, um, there you have it and I uh, hope this helps somebody in the future. Um, if you have any questions on it, you can certainly uh, get a hold of us through um, email or comments here on our uh, YouTube channel. Thanks.